We're running a test today, but what kind of test is it, you ask? Well, we're gonna slice and dice, use and abuse. You see this right here? You see this right here is the brand new Dewalt 24 tooth framing blade. Look at it. <gasps> so it seems like Dewalt wants to be the number one blade manufacturer. It even says right here on this blade, two times the life of Diablo. Diablo is my favorite blade. So I was curious, is that a true statement? Not to mention a lot of subscribers wanted to know as well. Many of them has asked if I could bring this to the channel. Now, if you're a subscriber to this channel, which I'm sure you are, you would know that I already done tested the Diablo. We put it through one heck of a test. We used 26 framing nails. That was in a two by eight. And we also threw in two stainless steel quarter inch lag screws on that test. It went through every single one of those obstacles, those fasteners that we put in that wood. If you don't believe me, I'll put a card right here somewhere for you to check it out. But here's the thing, can the DeWalt that claims that it's two times the life of Diablo handle that same test? Well, let's check it out. Right now we're gonna put in 26 framing nails and two stainless steel lag screws. Here we go. That right there is a lot of framing nails. Next up, the lag screws. Now that's a lot of stuff in there. Surely we can't go through this with a 24 twos framing blade, or can we? All right, so hold up. Why am I doing this test anyway? Well, in case you didn't know, there's a lot of trade shows that happen. You got staff to world of concrete, and a lot of these blade manufacturers are always talking about how much better they are than Diablo or Dewalt or whatever. You see, they run these tests that look great when you're actually at their booth, but when you bring it back to the world world, the blade that is, they don't really perform as they did in the booth. That's right, we're testing every single manufacturer's claims on this channel to make sure that they are not lying to you. And that's why we're doing a test and probably a good reason for you to get subscribed to this channel right now. Oh, and there's one other thing. A lot of people get worried that if they hit a nail or a screw with their regular framing blade, the 24 twos, that it's just gonna explode and go everywhere and slice and dice them in the face and all that stuff. And well, we're gonna see if that happens. Just hope that I don't damage this, this face. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is remove the Diablo. Diablo. And as you can see, this is a brand new DeWalt 24 twos blade. Again, two times the life of Diablo. Definitely not that much carbide up on top here compared to Diablo. So you can see the two for yourself. You would think that Diablo would have a lot more of an edge than it comes to the DeWalt. Now I also hear a big difference is that the DeWalt is a stamped blade compared to Diablo where it's a laser cut blade. And I also hear that that plays a very large role when it comes to blades because this right here is a lot less likely to flex than something like this where it's stamped. I don't know. All right, here we go. We're gonna throw on our blade like so. And it's all snugged up real nice like. All right, so here's the game plan. On the last video when we used Diablo, I ran that blade through the exact same setup we have here. Not once, not twice, but three freaking times and the blade was still sharp. Will the DeWalt do the exact same thing? Really, either way you look at it, even if it goes through once, I'd be pretty damn impressed, but we're going with a fully charged, fully charged 60 volt flex volt battery. All right, let's make our first cut. I'm very nervous, a little scared. Three, two, one. Let me just tell you something. That right there is very impressive to me. Look at everything I cut down through. There right here are your stainless steel bolts. Look at that, 26 framing nails, including those right here. Not one burn mark and it's so smooth. Yeah, so that right there, out of ease your mind when it comes to accidentally hitting a nail or a screw when you're cutting down through wood with a regular framing blade. I mean, seriously, freaking look at that. Not only that, especially with the 60 volt, sexy flex it, it's a monster. That thing went through so smooth. I mean, you didn't even feel the nails. You got a little bit of a hang up on the bolts, which is expected, but the nails, I mean, you didn't even feel them. But can it do it again? All right, we're doing cut number two. Here we go. So that right there is cut number two. And not only that, we got a knot. That is so cool. Again, not one freaking burn mark on your second 
cut. And here's the thing, this is not a specialty blade, you know, the nail embedded wood. This is just a standard 24 tooth framing blade. That is it, let's go through one more time. All right, we're gonna go through on a different angle here and see what it does. All right, let me show you here real quick. Again, not one burn mark on this entire piece of wood. This is the third time. So 26 times three, it's a lot of math, but that's a lot of nails. Plus that would equal six, right? Because we cut through it three times, six stainless screws, quarter inch lag screws that is. All right, let me take out my bat ray. All right, I want you to see something here. So this did not happen to the DA blow. You got a busted tooth here, 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 that one's worn down, but it's still there. Let's keep going, there, okay, those are still good. That one's busted, that one's busted, that one's busted, that one's busted. Okay, so we got a lot of busted teeth on here. There's another one right here. We got a lot of busted teeth on this. So again, just to show you, here's one. That's the first one we cut through right there. There's two, that's the next one we cut through right there. And then this is the last one that we cut through right now. So this is why we do these tests. Now check this out. This is the exact same blade that I had on the saw that I took off that we use in the Diablo video, or should I say Diablo. There's not one tooth busted off of this one, which is pretty freaking impressive to say the least. All right, so what is the conclusion of this test? Does the DeWalt last two times as long as Diablo? In my humble opinion, there is absolutely no way that the DeWalt is lasting longer, especially two times as long as the Diablo, where this made the exact same cuts through the exact same setup. Again, you can see that video that this did, and I'm missing a lot more teeth on this. However, I will say this, this blade performed phenomenally. That is a big word. I could probably make another cut or two through this, and it would still cut. Wait, there's more. Let me just say this. The DeWalt blade is probably the second best blade I've ever used in my life. It performed really, really well. So we've seen how many times I went through those nails and those lag screws. Just imagine how long you're going to get life-wise if you're just using this through wood. But there is another downside to this blade. So even though I think we proved that there's no way this is lasting two times longer than Diablo, this thing is also way more expensive than your standard the Ablo blade. Now, if you wanna stay in the DeWalt platform and just run DeWalt blades, that's fine. But me personally, why would I spend more money on a DeWalt blade when I can buy a much cheaper Diablo blade and get even longer life? I mean, don't get me wrong, I love DeWalt. Do what you wanna do. You wanna buy the cheaper Diablo blade, which is you know professional grade or the professional grade DeWalt that's gonna cost you more. It's your money. You wanna buy that? Buy it. I'll put a link in the description below. Go ahead and buy it up. You wanna buy the Diablo? I'll put a link in the description below for that as well. You buy that up. All I'm here to do is try to prove the claim that this was two times the life of Diablo. Diablo lasted way longer, in my opinion, way better shape right here than the DeWalt did. But that said, it's still a great blade. So if you can find them on sale, a little bit cheaper, pick them up, you're really gonna like them. But I wanna know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know how you think this performed. Also, go check out that video at the end of this video and see how this one did compared to this one. It's the exact same test, same blade. Also, if you could smee, smee that like button, <laughs> I appreciate it. I always appreciate you stopping by with that. We'll be back with more videos soon.